Hi everyone. So today we're going to talk about LED street lighting because uh, I'm so good to you. Um, this is a short introduction to the LED street lighting, which you can all go and introduce yourself to in person, should you choose, because if you're lucky, like me, there is likely one right outside your door. And if you are less fortunate, you may have to walk 30 meters because they're all handily located for your better acquaintance within about a 30 meter radius of each other. In this brief presentation, I will mostly be referring to an article on a website by the imaginatively named Lighting Manufacturer, an online company who manufactures lighting. The article is called Best Smart Street Lights, Intelligent Street Lighting Systems and Smart City Poles. I know you're riveted, aren't you? It hasn't been fact checked, which means it's not true, maybe, possibly. But what it is, is information about LED streetlights that apparently sit comfortably within the parameters of what the powers that be are happy to have in the public domain. So let's start there and then we can all extrapolate to our heart's content. The abstract at the beginning reads thus. A smart streetlight is an intelligent outdoor lighting system that is context aware to its environment and is wirelessly networked to support interoperability and sophisticated user interaction in the Internet of Things ecosystem. <laughs> so let's begin. Um, sorry, I find that hilarious. Anyway, a smart streetlight is an intelligent. So read artificial intelligence, which means that it collects data and uses it to inform the way that it operates in future and also likely for better return on investment potential, sells that data to the highest bidder, Elon Musk, um, and every other bidder thereafter. So it's a data collecting and processing outdoor lighting system that is context aware to its environment. Presumably that beauty of a misdirect is supposed to have you applying the more narrow definition of environment as it extends to weather and astrological considerations as opposed to you. You are part of its environment. So it's a data collecting and processing outdoor lighting system that is monitoring you and is wirelessly networked to support interoperability and sophisticated user interaction in the Internet of Things ecosystem. I just want to make two points in reference to that last assault on everything that is good about wordsmithery. Firstly, Internet of Things, um, was someone having a bad day? Couldn't they have come up with a better name? Internet of Things, what are we gonna call it? Oh, we'll just call it the Internet of Things. Um, also, you can't call it the Internet of Things, clearly referencing man-made technology, and then try and pull off the ecosystem metaphor. There is nothing ecological about the Internet of Things. What even is the Internet of Things? Well, we'll get onto that in a moment. Firstly, let's read about the more benign attributes of LED street lighting. In contrast to traditional light sources that present a number of challenges with regard to lighting controls, LEDs are current driven devices that react instantaneously to changes in power input. This unique attribute allows smooth dimming profiles to be created and dynamic lighting scenes to be programmed in LED streetlights. So far, so relatively benign, on we go. The semiconductor nature of LEDs drives the digital transformation of street lighting the ability of LEDs to be seamlessly controlled by electronic logic circuits or processors opens the door to a wide range of interactive capabilities that bridge the gap between the digital and physical world. Starting to get a little less cute and fluffy now, isn't it? The article later states, the real revolution comes when LED street lighting was married to the internet of things. Note that it says the real revolution comes, the word comes indicating that the revolution is yet to happen. And then the sentence goes on to say, the real revolution comes when the LED street lighting was, as in has already happened, married to the internet of things. It goes on 
Beyond the capabilities for advanced lighting controls, adding internet protocol IP connectivity to streetlights and expanding the sensing capabilities of LED fixtures have facilitated a wide range of innovative applications that transform the way people interact with their environment. The Internet of Things bridges the physical and digital worlds through the use of smart devices that can collect or transmit information. Internet of Things is not a single technology, it's a convergence of sensors, devices, networks and software that synergistically work to extract knowledge and actionable insights mm. and to turn them into real world return on investment, because that's what matters. With the Internet of Things, real world objects are connected to the Internet and interact with each other, mobile and web applications. In doing so, these connected things become smart devices that can create, communicate, aggregate, analyze, or act on information. Well, isn't that nice? Um, goes on, LED street lighting is poised to play a major role in the Internet of Things. Street lights have a ubiquitous presence in urban areas and most rural residences. Located every 30 to 80 metres along almost every road and street, the raised sources of light have a support structure and a supply of electrical power. These features make street lighting networks a readily available geographically advantageous platform to deploy Internet of Things devices. In addition to enabling the implementation of sophisticated lighting strategies and delivering further energy savings, Internet of Things enabled street lighting creates a backbone network that supports a range of smart city applications. It then goes on to reference traffic control, parking management, environmental monitoring, crime deterrence, and I'll read you that one, street lights equipped with IP cameras and audio recorders allow securities to re uh, security authorities to record, review, and monitor activities in accident-prone areas and high crime neighborhoods or anywhere they choose. Public messaging and digital signage, I'll give this one some airtime too. The street lighting network can be used as a public information network by incorporating digital billboards and loudspeakers for alert notification and advertising purposes. Um, communications infrastructure, this is our last act, wireless access points and small cell base stations can be mounted on street light poles to improve broadband connectivity and to support the 5G networks respectively. So there it is, 5G finally got a mention right at the end where you would expect it to be because it is in no way integral pivotal and vital to the entire system. So the article ends by saying that the concept of a smart street light of smart street lighting is constantly evolving. In the context of Internet of Things, a smart street light or a smart pole is a terminal host for Internet of Things devices with sensing, actuation, identification, control, or monitoring functionalities. The convergence of real-time awareness and communications into an Internet of Things framework results in unprecedented controllability that enables municipalities and public services to unlock the full energy savings potential of LED street lighting. I know that's really boring. However, at the same time, street lights and utility poles are becoming Internet of Things assets that can support a wide range of smart city initiatives by leveraging their ubiquitous coverage across urban areas and access to power and connectivity. And my friends, that is what they want you to know. Okay, so thank you so, so much for listening. I'm gonna leave it there for today. I really, really appreciate your time. You know that. I love you. Hey, bye dudes. Okay, take care little ones, all oh, big ones, whatever, bye.